work in progress, Arduino-based little game console. Here's the programming port. Here's the charging port. There's a tiny little display in there with magnifying Fresnel lens that makes the screen slightly bigger. This is a speaker. This is on off, A, B, and then a little joystick. So <clears throat> I'm gonna show uh, Pong clone, sort of. Let's see, get the focus right. All right, let's go. That little thing on the bottom is a, is a timer, basically. It shows you how long has left in the level. Once the thing reaches the door, then it goes to the next level. Every level, the direction rotates, direction of the screen. So the paddle will be uh, on the right side. That's like a power up that you can collect. It stays there. It's just for points. It just stays there for a few seconds. And so, so direction switched, and now it also switched into sort of an Arkanoid uh, clone. So in here, there's no timer. You just have to get all the blocks. As you see, you can move the paddle forward and back a little bit. And if you do it in just the right moment, you can actually spike the ball. Wait. So the third variation, and they just cycle one after another. Third variation is like the classic sort of thing. And also the direction has changed, so now we're on the bottom. So now we're playing against CPU. And on the left there's a timer. So once the rocket reaches the, the moon, it goes over to the next level. You get a point for every time it bounces. You can also spike here. And I, can't quite seem to. Oh, kind of. That's 100 points equals one extra ball. And the rocket reached the moon. So now the direction has changed and we're back to just the uh, pong against the wall. The direction is now, the paddle is on the top. I'll try to spike it. So, yeah. Hey! Damn it. Every time you lose a ball, if there's a timer, it starts over from the beginning. Basically, it's just a weighted out for the parachute to land on the right. So every direction has a slightly different graphic. That's a power up. Yeah, I didn't get that. It just gives you eek. <laughs> it just gives you 25 points. This is a never-ending game. So it's 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 meant for my four-year-old. So it's pretty simple. There will be other games on here. There was a main menu. Pong was the first one that I started working on. Yay, we got power up. Um, there are some uh, tricks. So the the spiking is one trick. And there is also, if you press and hold, oh, there's the Arkanoid next level. There are like f seven, I think, different Arkanoid configuration that there are and they'll just cycle after that by configuration i mean arrangements of the i can make more later i just don't think anyone's gonna have this much patience to play this for there's different types of, of blocks there's blocks that you, you have to hit twice and then disappear just like the real arcanoid i might add uh, power-ups like uh, paddle extender maybe uh having three balls bounce around for a period of time like things like that To, uh, you can press the joystick button to pause. It's this part. And um, yeah, so it's, it's really kind of an infinite game. Uh, the ball gets slightly faster each level. And you can play 
84 points and it keeps a high score. I'm gonna just lose all my lives to show the game over screen. And uh, the width of the, or the thickness of the paddle represents how many lives you have. So if you lose all of your lives, see it getting, it's getting uh, thinner. So, so the computer is serving. So I'm gonna just avoid it to lose. Now I am on my last life. Uh, death. Game over, score 281. I did not hit the high score. The high score is, let's see, 806. Thanks for watching. Ta-da!